Hi everybody, welcome back, how are you doing? So last time we took some crazy derivatives. To be honest, I, I wouldn't blame you if you got kind of confused or skipped over the map there. The point is that you can take a derivative with respect to beta naught and beta one, and that way, you know, later we'll do something else with them, except for now, we're gonna set them equal to zero so that we can solve the system. That just means that you can get a solution for a closed form, which just means you can get some formula for beta naught and beta one, where you can you can do that formula and get the right beta naught and beta one to minimize the MSC or to get that line that you want. So basically, there's a long video which I, I I created a long video that was like 20 minutes long with me deriving this with you in our notation. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hand that out because it's a little complicated and you know even I got kind of confused. I'm just going to write down the solution of what the answer is because it's not really that important. I consider taking the derivative a lot more important because that's the theme of machine learning is it's not setting these things and solving a system. It's setting it's getting derivatives and we'll we'll see later but what we do with them. So the solution is basically you get beta naught after you set equal after you set this equal to 0 and this equal to zero, these two derivatives, you would get that beta naught, and which I'll write hat, because that's like basically saying our guess for beta naught, is that is equal to, uh, turns out to be y bar minus beta one hat, which is our guess for beta one, beta one hat times x bar, okay? Where, where the bar just means an average. So I'll just write it for x bar is equal to one over n times the sum as i goes from one to n of xi, and that would be the same for y, y bar just with the y's instead. Okay, so that's what beta naught is equal to, except that's dependent, we have that written dependent on beta one, or beta one hat. So beta one hat, that is just equal to, and this is not gonna have any beta naughts in it because then it still wouldn't be an answer. Beta one hat is just the sum as i goes from one to n, of xi times yi minus y bar divided by the sum as i goes from 1 to n of xi times instead xi minus x bar. Okay, that's, and you'll see a bunch of different solutions, or it might look kind of different if you look at different resources, but here it's one, it's the same solution no matter what as to what beta naught and beta one is to get that line. So if we do, if we have some data, if we have x's and y's, then we can draw a line using this formula to get beta one, and then we'd have a beta one. So then this is a number, and then we could get one for beta naught as well. So that is it for this video. Not gonna show the derivation, it's just the answer here. Down below, if you wanna see the derivation, go ahead, um, and I will see you in the next video.